The celebration begins in the middle rather than the start of September because it coincides with the National Independence Days in several Latin American countries. Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica all celebrate their Independence Days on September 15th, followed by Mexico on September 16th, Chile on September 18th, and Belize on September 21st. Hispanic Heritage Week was initiated by LBJ in 1968 as the Chicano movement continued to work for the same recognition seen in the African American Civil Rights Movement. Movement. In 1988, the Reagan administration expanded it into a month-long celebration mandated by law. So what's the difference between Hispanic, Latino, and Spanish? Hispanic basically means you come from a country that predominantly speaks Spanish, while Latino is more of a geographic location referencing Latin America. And if you are Spanish, you are from the country of Spain. The term Hispanic did not appear on the U.S. Census until 1980, and Latino wasn't added until 2000. There are an estimated 57 million Hispanics in the United States, and they are currently the largest largest minority in the United States at about 18% of the U.S. population. Mexican Americans account for two-thirds of the American Hispanic population. Almost half of the Hispanic population in the United States are considered millennials. The United States has the second largest Hispanic population in the world, second only to Mexico. More than 50% of the Latino population in the United States live in California, Florida, or Texas. There's been a ton of recent research featuring the benefits of being bilingual. The highlights include a variety of cognitive processing benefits, more job opportunities, and delayed effects of old age. For those of you that don't know, I teach U.S. history in the state of Georgia. And there's an extreme underrepresentation of Hispanics and Latinos in my state's curriculum. Please share any historical figures or stories or events that you think should be added to the curriculum, especially pre-World War II. Thanks for watching.